Of the blocks that are left, which one is the smallest? Yeah, there it is. Now, which is the smallest block? You got it! You know, you're really good at this. And this big block goes last. Sister. And the third pig built his house of bricks. Bricks? That seems overly protective. What is Mr. Mortar hiding from? What? The third pig wanted a strong house, for he knew. Hey, what's the fourth pig's house made of? There is no fourth pig. Whoa. The third pig, however, knew that in the nearby woods there lived a big bad wolf. Make some room, shorty. What's so bad about a wolf? This story needs a horse. Wolf. Make some room, shorty. What's so bad about a wolf? This story needs a horse with uh, muscles and sunglasses. Charisma. Very well. Once upon a time, the big bad horse who had lovely muscles and sunglasses and charisma was eaten by the big bad wolf. This is not funny. May I continue now? George had grown tired of the same old bathtub frog and boat races. Ah. He needed new tub toys. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Done with your bath, George? <laughs> well, then, please get back in the tub. You're puddling. box of stray stuff, none of which had ever been played with in the tub. Hey. <laughs> oh, about the water, right? Wow, cool! Hang on, Lois, there's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad... Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. Sake, save her! Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I'm afraid your coma's in a daughter. <laughs> I mean, I mean your daughter's in a coma. What? What if she doesn't come out of it? I know, Lois. I never realized until now how much I've taken her for granted. Hi, Dad. Like they say in the storybooks, that's how the tale ends! Knock yourself out, little partner! Hey, that's fantastic, Lois. And I'll pleasure myself to your photos. Me too! Me too! Ah! Oh, God, Meg, that's sick. That's your mother. I'm just trying to fit in. Get out. Get out of this house. I said no. That's good about your modeling, Lois. <gasps> Mommy! Daddy! The scratchy monster! He's got me! Help! Ah! A two-headed monster! There was a... The music box, a... I heard a... 
The wind was making the tree branch hit the window. That's what was making the scary noise.